What up, Magnetites? Man, has it been a long time since I've done a video. I did one maybe, what was that, in June or July when we finally got some kind of announcement on the, uh, the foundation of uh, us getting SMT5. I'm super excited for this. This has been crazy. I've been busy with work, doing a bunch of other stuff. You know, got to pay the actual bills before I can YouTube. Uh, but, you know, I got a little brief time here on a lunch break. And I thought I'd, uh, you know, give my thoughts on what we've seen so far, the DLC, you know, uh, everything pretty much uh, to a T. You know, nothing that other uh, Mega 10 YouTubers aren't talking about, like Spence Presley and Yarly and uh, Bagamaka and all those people. But, you know, I just want to kind of give a little a little what's up and, uh, you know, give my opinion here. So considering, uh, considering where we uh, last left off in this franchise, you know, the last time we had a mainline game, Apocalypse, eh, kind of took us in a Persona-esque route with with characters and decisions and all of that. But this actually works out a lot better because this brings us back more to a mainstay. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say this is really close or similar to the original SMT 1 or 2, but I mean, actually, I mean, it kind of is. I think we're going to get a very similar, uh, uh, not like a fusion between SMT1 and SMT3, or maybe SMT4 for those who haven't played SMT1 and SMT3, which is kind of what was said in one of those uh, articles dating all the way back to when we were just sitting there hoping that uh, a new trailer would drop. I remember uh, one of the, the creators or the directors of the game said, we want to have a combination of Nocturne and SMT4. And so this is a good way to look at, at this game. So what I've seen so far that I like is having the uh, demons all over the map is so cool. What a great concept. SMT4 kind of started this with the whole, uh, you know, you see a figure, but it's shadowy. You don't know what it is. Um, this I like a lot more. This this lets you see what you're about to get in, in, into and gives you a little bit of an opportunity to uh, assess the situation. <clears throat> I also like that we get the giant enemies that it's like, you know better than to actually pick a fight with them because you know they're going to actually cause havoc and issues for you. And I can enjoy that. I think that adds a lot, a, a really strong element of foreboding when you're on the world, on the world, uh, <clears throat> the world map and you're you're going around trying to figure out what to do next. I really think it was a great opportunity for us to get a great feel for this game. Um, I think this game's going to be a top level SMT game. I mean, I, 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 I'm excited as an SMT fan. Like, you know, I, I, I know that some Persona fans maybe are jumping on this thinking it's going to be just like Persona 5, and I do not think that uh, they're going to be... They're not going to be happy at first, but I think once they start to really experience this game for what it is, I think they're going to find out that there's a lot to this. There's a lot to this kind of gameplay and the enjoyment behind a more uh, demonic, adult-themed style of game. You know, Persona hasn't been dark like like this since Persona 2, really. Uh, Persona 1 and 2. So, you know, that being said, I think there's a lot to be said about this game. I think it's going to be intensely enjoyable. I think there's going to be very few people that don't love this game. Especially if you're either an RPG fan, a Mega 10 fan in general. Um, you know, there are going to be certainly people, I think, that are on the more casual side that will not enjoy the grinding aspect. Um, you're probably, you know, this isn't a game for people who are not accustomed to difficult RPGs. However, part of that DLC is that we're giving an even easier version than easy, basically. We're giving a very easy version, kind of like back in the day when you play, like, uh, Turtles in Time on uh, Super Nintendo and they have a very easy option or Golden Axe. Um, I'm hopeful that these easier versions though, I'm hoping that they actually don't let you get the best endings and all that stuff because I feel like that adds an element because you know what, if you do play it on easy at first, maybe it's just because you've never played an SMT game or a Mega 10 game and you're just learning. And I think I could, that's understandable. 
but there should be a desire to come back and play it on a more difficult strategic level. Anyway, that being said, DLC, what I like and what I don't like. I will do my damnedest to not buy, even if it's cheaper, the DLC in total to have the Matamas because I don't want these Matamas to pop up in my game just because I purchased the DLC. I do not want easier experience, easier money, or easier miracles, I think it was. I'm not interested in that. I want to, if I'm going to find a way to cheese the game, I'm going to figure it out in-game. Like, I'm going to find the area, like, like when I was playing Nocturne, I, I used to go, when you get to um, Ginza, I would go to an area over the bridge, and I would go and fight demons that were way above my level, and die a lot, but test my luck in killing them, so as to gain levels quickly and be over-leveled ahead of time um, for the next for the next dungeon. You know, I found a way to, to within the game, to, to make my, give myself an advantage. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and get these Matamas, and the problem is, if it's in the game and it randomly pops up, it's going to be hard not to attack it or, or utilize it, so... I would like to not have that DLC at all. Now, that being said, all the rest of the DLC. The Artemis looks really cool. Looks like almost like a, uh, just more like a, more like a quest pack. I think it's going to give you a lot of options and things to do, and I think that's cool. Uh, hopefully it's not a lot of fetch quests, but I think that it will add an element of fun and side, and side uh, stories and things like that. Uh, the Me Mephisto is the same, same kind of style. I'm excited for that. The Cleopatra one looks, I think it's going to be like a battle arena type thing. I don't know why, but I feel like it's just going to be more of an arena setting. Kind of like if you ever played Tales of Fantasia or pretty much any of the Tales games, they have that style of arena. I think the Cleopatra DLC is going to have some interesting story set up that's going to put you in a competition against just demons. Um, I believe Megami Tensai 2 or Koyoyaku Megami Tensai 2. They both had this uh, this stadium. I think it's a really cool uh, throwback if they do it. Coliseum, I think it wasn't that. Now, that being said, my favorite one, obviously, is the Demi Fiend one. I feel like being able to fight all the fiends, including the Demi Fiend, is a really cool touch. My only hope, though, is that that doesn't end up being the arena-style uh, battle and that it's maybe randomly placed throughout the map. You know, it's something that randomly happens, kind of like in Nocturne, with running into the fiends. Because I don't want something that's going to end up being, you know, just fiend after fiend after fiend. Though, I could see enjoyment in that. I'm not saying that wouldn't be fun as well. I'm just hoping it's a little bit more padded out, that's all. But, I mean, the fact that we get to fight the Demi-Fiend, I think, is a great piece of, uh, of DLC. My only hope is that it's not just day one DLC and no more. I hope that they have expanded dungeons. I hope they do something basically like they did with Apocalypse, that they have so much leftover content that they either, either add it as DLC or they make a whole new, like, SMT5 Part 2, you know, uh, the Nahobino experiment. <laughs> Whatever they call it, I, I just hope that we have another aspect of it, kind of like with Apocalypse. But if not, let's add it as DLC. I think it'd be great as well if we can get Aleph, if we can get some of the old school SMT Pro Tags back in here. I know the Demi Fiend is loved, but I would love to see the originals. Uh, I wouldn't mind Nakajima from the old Mega Ten game. I don't remember who Megami Tensai 2's character's name is, the main character, but I would love for him to be in it. And then if, I mean, even to take it a step further, if we could get, if we could get, uh, or is that Aleph? No, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm getting confused there. Anyway, and how about the Strange Journey, uh, main character? I don't feel like he gets any love at all. I don't think he was in the SMT4 Apocalypse, uh, added DLC piece at all. So that would be that would be an awesome throwback. I'd also like to see, I, I'm hoping that at some point we see um, we see Steven and I'm also hoping that at some point we see Mi Mito because I know he's basically being replaced which is okay but he's been such a staple it'd be nice for him to at least have a cameo, maybe be able to do some kind of specific fusion that maybe the main uh, new chick 
doesn't have, you know, the power to do. Maybe he only does, like, he does, like, final level demons, like, final, uh, final category level demons. You know, something really, uh, important to give him reason to appear. I think that'd be really cool. But, uh, you know, those are really my thoughts on what we're getting so far. Obviously, I could have made this a lot longer, but I think that's a good amount of time to really be able to sit there and mull over in your mind what you think about the DLC, which, how excited you are for this game coming out. It feels like, feels like less than two weeks. Maybe it's a little more than two weeks. Eh, maybe it's exactly two weeks. Anyway, point is, it's coming out, finally, all this time. I mean, this is the game I've been waiting for. I bought a Switch when no one could get a Switch just to play this back in 2017. I've been waiting a long time. So, hope you guys are as excited as I am. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the DLC. And if you think there, there are some potential things they could add from the standpoint of either old main characters, old plot points, old enemies, old demons, anything like that. And what you your thoughts on the Matama uh, DLC is. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know. Until then, my Magnetites, I'm out.